Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today, we're going to be talking all about wood siding, specifically lap siding, because that's what we're going to be producing today. But I want to talk about some pros and cons to it, as well as the price difference between lap siding compared to other sidings. So let's go ahead and get into this video. In my opinion, there are numerous reasons why a wood siding is far superior to the plastic siding a lot of people decide to put on their house. For one, it's eco-friendly. You're not contributing to polluting the environment by using a wood siding. And it also looks a lot nicer. I mean, it's a lot higher quality and looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Uh, once again, that's just my opinion, but I think a lot of people share it. Now that I've talked about why wood siding is better than some of your other siding options, let's dive into the different styles to choose from. There's a board and batten, which is very popular. Also shingles, wavy edge, also known as live edge siding, reverse board and batten, and then last but not least, lap siding, which is our main focus today. As far as comparing the expense uh, it really just depends on how much time it takes to produce the different siding. So depending on how time consuming, lap siding is on the more time consuming end. So is shingles. Shingle siding is probably the most time consuming to produce. That's why it's the most expensive. Lap siding is right behind that. Now, board and batten is very popular and for good reason. It looks great and it's pretty simple to install. It's just simply a one by 10 and usually a one by two or a one by three uh, batten strip. And it doesn't really take anything special to mill these dimensions. So we can just bust them out on the mill. And because of that, it's much cheaper than some of the more fancy sidings. Milling lap siding is time consuming, as I've already stated, but it's also tedious and you're going to see why. But we have, as you can see, a large pile of six by sixes. And so basically what we do to save time and just trying to speed up production as much as possible is we actually cant up the log on the 40. And I've already talked about this in some of my other videos, but because the LT40 is a lot faster, we can make these cants a lot quicker than if we just stuck the whole log on the 15 to lap it first. So we have the cants already. So all we have to do is stick it on there and start milling the lap siding. Now getting the right thickness is tedious. That's the tedious part of it. And it's a lot of just uh, really eyeing it and you're gonna see Jade do that here Jade is the master of the lap siding so she knows how to make it perfectly just by eyeing it actually so let's watch her do it
All right, so Jade, obviously the camera isn't great at capturing everything. So can you please tell us in a little bit more detail what makes this job so tedious? Yeah, so let me think about how I could put this into simple words. So basically, the this mill doesn't, it's not the same as the LT40, the way you have to set it up to cut. You manually figure out where you need to cut. It does have the, the like ruler there, which I, you can't use. That's the issue it, when you're cutting these, uh, you can't use that. So there's no computer program, unlike the LT40, even uh, the 35, like that all has computer stuff. This, it's all manual. just, you just manual. Have to manually said. Now you could go and do the exact calculations, but that well, would it's, take... even, it's even harder with, like, it'd be easier to do that if you're just plain sawing. But when you're okay, cutting, yeah, gotcha. Siding, and it's it's a little different because it's like fractions. You're down to yeah, fractions. It's not yeah, it's way like thinner. you're it's just, just cutting on it. Yeah. yeah. So so I mean, the ruler like that would be very helpful if you were just simply, you know, you your can side eight, you're cutting it down to seven, then down to six. But this yeah. is like very fractional. Yeah. Like I, and how it's, it'd be so different. I I don't even know where to begin if I were to try to. Yeah. Try exactly. To even now, find one question I had: How how thick? What is your goal? thickness for the thick end of the uh, siding? Half inch. Half inch. Yeah. So then the thin side would just be like taper down to nothing. Yeah, um, it's pretty thin. So you take off a half inch and this thing tilts it up and down and that's what makes the taper. So is that also challenging? That just does it itself, but... The, I'd say, sorry to cut go, you off, no, go ahead. the hardest, the hardest part about that would just be remembering because like if oh, you yeah. forget and I have forgotten it, it ruins a couple of pieces you have to cut it back down to the right because size it, to yeah that's right because if you forgot then it wouldn't only screw up the piece that you're cutting it but also it screw screws up, up the can the yeah. next piece yeah, yeah because just the next piece it doesn't screw up the whole thing but and then the other thing that I wanted to mention was that last piece you always have a two inch piece at the end so you're really, if we're cutting, if we have a six by six, you're really only yeah, cutting four inches off of it. That sucks. And there's no way really around that, is there? No, no, the, because of how it, the, it holds, how it secures the cant onto yeah. the mill, it oh, doesn't, you can't cut down or you can cut those. And I actually have, if you look oh, at yeah. the tips, <laughs> each single tip of these are uh, shaved off a twitch. Shaved off, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that happens. It ruins your blade, but besides that, it doesn't really damage the machine yeah, at all. Yeah, and it's kind of necessary for them to be shaven down because now I don't <laughs> hit them like that. At that, right there, I go right over it. It just took that first couple times to yeah. shave a little off. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jade, thanks for giving your expertise. I'm sure everybody appreciates it. So we have an order for 140 of these pieces of lap siding, and so far we have 77. So what, we're about not even halfway through, but because of how thin you cut them, I feel like you end up getting so much more out of it. I mean, look, this pile looks tiny, but there's 77 of them here. I'm just used to looking at one inch boards and uh, you get a lot more when you cut it thin like this. Anyways, thanks for watching today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna waste your time. Just click it, why not? Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.